just when I announced that I'm done for this week. I will not be reacting to any more songs this week's this week because I'm busy. Well, artists that I just cannot skip, you know, they've been dropping this week. One by one. Clean Bandit, John Bellion, uh, LSD, and now Kellen Harris. Man, I gotta react to this one. I already skipped this song. Hey, yeah. This hey, fire. I literally, I couldn't react to this, unfortunately. You know, if I don't react to something, that doesn't mean that I didn't check that song. But yeah, man, like, uh, this song is fire and I unfortunately couldn't react to it on time. Um, now it's too late. But uh, please check this song out if you haven't heard it. Definitely. Definitely. Kevin Harris' uh, checklist with Normani featuring Whiskey. I've also checked uh, the other song. Um, by this collaboration slow down so both songs are freaking dope please get familiar with it check it out now um you know i already could i couldn't react to that one i couldn't skip this one either so i should react to this collaboration with benny blanco apparently benny blanco who is a producer hit maker you know he's been working with a lot of famous artists before uh we didn't know him uh, until he dropped that uh, hit uh, song with uh, uh, Khalid and Halsey. The song is called East Side, I believe that was the song. Because I, I am not a fan of that song, but that song was being, yeah, East Side. Uh, that was all over the radio, people are listening to it, people are hyped about it. It literally reminds me of Lucid Dreams by Juice World. Uh, this the beat is sort of similar. It's just like Halsey, Halsey and Khalid on it. Um, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's it's an okay song for me. But anyway, Benny Blanco. Now everybody is hyped about Benny Blanco. Oh, what he comes up with next? Now he's on the radar of music. Now we know who he is. And now like, um, what he's con what are you gonna give us next? And the, the next song is literally with Calvin Harris, one of the biggest DJs around the world, if not the biggest right now, to be honest. He always collaborates with the biggest artists. Uh, he has the biggest numbers in the ch on the charts. Uh, no other DJ right now has those numbers. Even David Guetta, you know, who I love a lot. My favorite DJ is David Guetta, the second to the second on that list is Kevin Harris, but you know, uh, Kevin Harris is doing great, he's, he's doing a fantastic job. Now, I heard that Benny Blanco is on the keyboard and Kevin Harris is singing. It's been a fat minute without Kevin Harris singing. But when he does sing, it's, it's pretty good job. Like he does a pretty good job at that. So he has a nice voice. You know the songs like "Summer," "My Way," you know, dude, my way. like that, that, those kind of tracks. Um, you know, his older material also had, uh, you know, him singing. I feel so close to you right now. It's a far deal, far. <laughs> anyway, I'm not really good at American lyrics, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Ken Harris is dope and let's just listen to this song. If I don't know how to move, it's good to hear from you, Ken. I cannot say what I believe in. There's anything I can do. Because hmm. I found you. Okay, okay. I found, I found you. I found you. I found you. You. Well, the sound is pretty. The sound is familiar. 
you know, we have heard a lot of tracks by Kamala Harris in this style, but I mean, it has never been a bad style. <laughs> this style is always perfect, so it works every time. Yep. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing this. <laughs> but I don't know honestly what Benny Blanco is doing on this song. Yes, the like iTunes description told us that oh Benny Blanco is on the keyboards. I cannot even hear the keyboards. Where are they? Where is the piano <laughs> on this song? It's all Kevin Harris production I can hear only, you know, his voice and his style. Where is Benny Blanco? What is he doing on this song? Let me know in the comments below if you know. Yeah, man, it's... Well, I'm not that excited because this is already a standard by Kevin Harris. Like, this is the song we usually get from Kevin Harris. And I think uh, he did this style again because uh, a lot of fans have been uh, complaining about the fact that Kevin Harris stopped doing music in this style. You know, he kind of transferred to uh, new uh, styles, uh, new direction. You know, Funk Wave Bounces Volume One, uh, where literally, you know, it was all sunny. Uh, this song is pretty like kind of has those summer wipes as well but um, the melodies like he, he was using more uh, funk guitar uh, you know like different very different sonical experiences uh, in on his um, album uh, and you know people were complaining I personally really loved it uh, really loved that record um, that album was second on my uh, all all year uh, favorite albums list, you know, and um, now it seems like he's just coming back to his sort of roots because uh, people wanted to hear that. I really loved, I mean, I always love what Kevin Harris cares. I cannot speak. I always love what Kevin Harris does, it's just um, this sort of kind of step back for me. I personally really enjoyed when he. Uh, was pursuing the new sounds and I loved how Kevin Harris was showing us his versatility his skills as a composer you know as a songwriter he can do much more and he was proving us uh, with this last album Funk with Bowser's one and also this uh, year's singles uh, with One Kiss uh, None Are Ready it's all different and I, I, really, I was really enjoying those joints with Promises Kevin Harris um, yeah, I love them. I love them. And uh, this is kind of a step back for me. I still enjoy it. Yeah, I still enjoy it. I still enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. You know, the songs like Summer again, right? Uh, this literally albums like 18 Month and uh, Motion. I love those albums. I love that sonical style. It's just um, I want, you know, Kevin Harris to evolve and he was evolving. It. And so uh, I personally didn't see um, the point of going back to that but again if people missed it yeah why not once a time I mean once in a while I'll just drop some of this too um, with Normani though the checklist for me it's a 10 out of 10 song it's, it's freaking dope this one I'll give it a 7 out of 10 because the creativity uh, was not uh, you know uh, blowing up on me uh, it was just a regular standard Calvin Harris song um, the one kiss with Dua Lipa I gave it 7 out of 10 at that time but literally that song was my favorite song of the summer so I should change it to 10 out of 10 in the description box uh, usually I, I do have my rating in the description box written uh, yeah I will change it to 10 out of 10 <laughs> um, yeah man all in all, Kevin Harris is a dope, fantastic songwriter, DJ, uh, and I'm. I like this song too. I like this song too. Benny Blanco, though, I don't know what <laughs> what was his role on this song. Um, you know, but with East Side, I believe with East Side, it was um, his sounds you know, on 
um, he said he was doing the music and uh, Khalid and Halsey they were just singing so but here I don't know what Benny Blanco was doing so let me know uh, thank you guys so much for watching also explain me please like the cover out <laughs> the cover art like why Benny Blanco is literally stepping on Keanu Harris I kind of find it a little bit disturbing and disrespectful <laughs> um, yeah I don't know it, maybe they could have find better ours, uh, ours. <laughs> art cover art for this song hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to this channel please do and welcome to the squad welcome to music club uh, this is a music club if in case you forgot uh, i was talking about it a lot in the john bellin uh, video this is music with, um, with pop uh, our music club stay tuned for more videos like this stay subscribed uh, eat healthy hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next ones bye bye